Okay, guys, I'm going to try this again. This old Scott Tucker here, Billy. I messed up a minute ago on trying to do this video here. I uh, want to thank Jesse B. Outdoors for the Vont Light. I won probably two, maybe just three days ago on his contest on his channel. It's a cool light, guys. Uh, really is. Super bright off of AAA batteries. You can see strobe. So it's a very cool light, and there was two of them. Runs off triple A's. Uh, very good, well constructed, waterproof. Here's the package it come in. I got, like I said, I got two lights. Here's the other one packaged up. So man, I thought I was just getting one. I didn't know I was getting two. So that's even super cool. Thanks, Jesse. Appreciate it a whole lot, buddy. That's sweet. Okay, I just got the guide rod spring in from Galloway Precision the other day. Here is the factory guide rod spring. It's not stainless steel, flat wound. It's long. A lot longer than the other one. And uh, it's a bear, guys, to smash this down. To compress this, if you see what I'm doing, to, it wants to twist on you when it gets in this handgun here. I just took this off of me. See if I can get this little puppy dog apart this time without tearing it up. There we go. All right. Slide it off. Here's the stainless steel recoil spring. Captured. Sweet. Perfect. And if any of you guys know it's got one, it's a bear to put together. Showed a buddy of mine at work today. He's got a Spectrum. And he knows it's a pain in the butt to put in. Here I am right here. Just It's like any other captive recoil spring now, guys. Super easy. Make sure that stupid little barrel's kind of straight on you. Don't get all messed up. Now, I put this spectrum together a few times, guys, and if you don't make sure that that uh, twisty thing here locks, hell, my slide, see, it didn't lock the first time. It, it did that time. I've done it where this little t thing here doesn't turn, and you don't pay no attention to it, and I let it, that thing on my damn slide just phew, flies off from the pistol. I did that yesterday, and uh, I had to look for the new guide rod spring because it disappeared on me here in the reloading room. Anyway, guys, it's worked out great uh, so far. I haven't shot it yet, so I don't know the reliability, but uh, I think it ought to work pretty good. If it don't, well, hell, I was never real happy about this little gun anyway, but at least now it's easier to take apart and clean. So that's a win-win on that part. Okay, guys, just want to show you guys I will shoot it this weekend to see how good it works. All right. As always, old Hibley loves you. God bless. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.